All right, everyone, welcome back to the sesh. So my plans for this weekend got messed up. I was supposed to go to Georgia, visit his family. Not happening today uh, or this weekend at all. So uh, I decided to hit up the garage in Springfield Greenlight's uh, underground event that they hold in Springfield and picked up some few goodies. Also went by Easy Mountain and grabbed some stuff. So I've got a bunch of stuff sitting in front of me. A uh, couple of eighths from Vibe, a gram of live batter from Vibe, two grams of live batter from Proper, two grams of live batter from, or live resin, I should say, uh, from Dark Horse, and then I also have an eighth from Camp Cannabis. So we're actually going to start with the flower, I think. Oh, yo, what's up? What's up, Edward? Uh, gonna start with the flower actually. We're gonna start with pink certs first, and then I also have uh, carbon fiber and the tropical runts from Vibe. So I uh, I almost ripped this open earlier, but I was like, no, you know what? I want all of this to be fresh. I want it to be as I do it. So here we go. Let's pop this bad boy open. Oh, ooh wee. So I have reviewed this strain before, this Pink Certs. I probably won't go through the process of reviewing it, just because of that. But man, this... <laughs> there's this giant nug in here. Or no, this might be two. That just got kind of stuck together. Yeah. There's these big frosty nugs in here. Big chunky, chunky boys. There we go. Look at that. Very frosty too. Pink Certs is known to have like a, a really light sort of a scent. It's very like fresh. It almost kind of has like a white wine or like a slightly fruity white wine sort of a, I don't know, muskiness to it. But just a little bit of a funk as well. It's definitely a strain that I, uh, I get along with pretty decently. At least I have in the past. So I've got a little piece here. I'm going to go ahead and get ground up and I'll throw it in the vaporizer. We'll try this stuff out. All right, about 18 seconds of heat. Here we go. Cheers. Yeah, it's about what I expected. <laughs> but yeah, it's got pretty a pretty standard profile for the pink certs. It's a little whiny, a little earthy. Not too shabby. So I am going to actually, um, I left my reclaim, or not reclaim, my uh, AVB thing over there. I need to go grab it. Gotta go grab it. So, all right, let's move on to, I want to do a fruity one. Let's do this Tropical Runts from Vibe next. Pop this bad boy open. I'm not a fan of their jars, but no. Oh, well. That's nice. Very runcy on this one. I have had the tropical runs before. Sometimes it's more tropical. Sometimes it's more runcy. This one's definitely leaning more into the runs profile to me. But it still has a nice tropical note to it. A little bit of a those um, the Tropicana variety of sulfuric or volatile sulfuric compounds. Definitely get a little bit of that in there. That's enjoyable. Okay, let's, uh, I'll pop out one of these nugs. These look nice and fluffy. They feel nice and fluffy. Or, like, in a good way. Obviously not, like, bad fluffy like Larfy, but fluffy as in nice and spongy, you know? Yeah, I mean, if that's what you're hoping for, Edward, you would absolutely love these. You might, it might be worth them going and picking up at least maybe an eighth <clears throat> while they've got them cheap. Consistency is great, too. It's not dried out or anything. Trichomes are nice and heavy. All right, here we go. About 18 seconds or so again. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's got a much... I don't know why I said much. That's got a nice profile on it. Um, it's got... Uh, it's similar to the uh, the orange runts, actually, um, that we've had. It's got that similar funk to it with the orange sweet fruity notes. That'll do it on there. All right, next we've got the Carbon Fiber. Now, I can't remember if I've tried this one or not before. I feel like I have, but I feel like it was like the live rosin or something. Like maybe it got used in a cannabis cult pack or something. I don't remember, but I feel like I have tried this strain. This should be a nice uh, opposite to the Tropical Runs. Yeah, it's got a nice, like, funk, burnt tire, burnt popcorn. Almost a little floral, too. My phone's ringing. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> I sh within the next couple of months, I should be getting a webcam so I don't have to deal with this shit. So. <laughs> Whew. Anyways, uh, as I was saying about this... It's really nice. It's definitely a, a funk fest, that's for sure, if you're into the GMO realm of things. This one's going to be a decent pickup. Ooh, nice sticky nugs. Ooh, they're sticky. Ooh, they're sticky. Ooh, and they smell so good. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. I'll pull out one of the larger nugs. We've got like three or four nugs here. So nice solid size on these. Very happy with, you know, the overall deal here. Put this Integra Boost Pack in there. Close it back up. All right, let me get this ground up and then throw it in the vaporizer and we'll try it out. Does it say the terps on the bottom? Actually, it fucking does. I didn't read the terps on either of these. So the tropical runts, Caryophyllina 0.68, Delta Limonia 0.55, Linolol 0.51. You've got some Neurolidol too, Alpha Humulene, Beta Mercine, Beta Pinene, and Alpha Pinene. And then on this carbon fiber we're about to try out, there's Beta Caryophyllene at 1.2. Delta Lemony at 1.06, Linolul at 0.31, uh, then you've got Alpha Humulene, Beta Pinene, Alpha Bisabolol, Alpha Pinene, and then Beta Mercine. So, great profile for me on both of these. Uh, this should be a perfect experience with either one, as far as, you know, overall effects and stuff go. So, I'm excited for this one. I think this is going to be the nighttime strain that I really want. I think this might do the trick. All right, here we go. About 18 seconds on this one as well. This carbon fiber is going to be the one to talk about. Mr. Edward, I don't, I don't know if this one's gonna be for you. <coughs> Lots of beta caryophylline. <coughs> oh, man, I love it though. <coughs> There's even like a, a garlicky <coughs> sort of spice to it i don't even know how to describe that 
But it's <coughs> it's there. Wow. That'll probably do it. It's vaporized well enough. Let's get into some concentrates. So, um, hmm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I need to move stuff around a little bit. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, see, I was about to say the exact same thing. Let's start with the Dark Horse. Because I'm very curious. I did pop these open just to check them out because I was I was too curious. I couldn't wait. Um, and honestly, not too shabby. I, I if I don't know how much they usually are because I got them at the green light thing for twenty dollars a pop, and they're definitely gonna be they're definitely gonna be worth twenty dollars a pop if you see them at that price. <laughs> And honestly, man, if they're using CRC during their processing, they're doing a damn good job. Because this doesn't smell bad at all. This one is the GMO Cookies. It's uh, They just list everything as live resin. This is more of like a sugary consistency. You're going to get just a little tiny piece. It looks nice and terpy. Ooh, yeah, it's sticky. All right. And both of these are live, so that's nice. Drop a little piece in there. Just like the flower, just having just enough to have a little taste. And uh, I'm going to rock everything at 475 today. I do have the 3D XL, so 475 on it is a lot more effective than 475 on the normal chamber, from what I've noticed anyways. Cheers. I can't tell if what I smell right now is the dab I just took, the flower I just used. Ooh, you know what? I bet that's the... Okay. <laughs> I bet that's the carbon fiber I smell. I was like, something smells like it's fucking on fire. Something smells like burning. Yeah. I bet that's, a, that's the carbon fiber. All right, let's see. Let's break open this. KC Kush. This is KC Kush. Kansas City Kush. From Dark Horse. Oh, and they do not have any terpene information on this. Uh, they do list the basic cannabinoids. The stuff you would expect to see on the packaging. And it does have a little range to it. It's got some CBD, some CBN, some THCV. Along with the THC, of course. It's got a nice little range of stuff happening. So was the other one, too. Yeah, this one has uh, a nice little range of stuff as well. Uh, not super concentrated, but it does have some of it. This one's, like, sticky on the outside of the jar. That can't be good. Oh, oh no. There it goes. No, it's fine. It's not spilling out everywhere or anything. I guess the outside of the jar just is sticky for some reason. Okay, it's still 
a little light on the nose. Trees of Flavor is probably going to be a little bit on the lighter side. But that's Casey Cush. I've had Casey Cush a couple of times. And this is what it is. It's a very herbal sort of a Kush. It has like a sweet herbal note to the uh, slightly musky, cushy sort of vibes. All right, let's check it out. So far, I am not disappointed. Not for $20 a gram. Hell, I wouldn't be disappointed for $30 a gram. Or $35 even. Mm -hmm. Cheers. There it goes. Still cut out early. <laughs> I gave that shit like four minutes. Not too shabby. It does... It does have a little bit of a chemical-y thing happening that I'm not sure about. It's not super strong. It's It wouldn't be a problem for me anyways. But there's a little bit of something on that one that might be a sign. I'm not saying it is because I'm not certain. I don't know. And I'm not trying to say shit like that about these brands. Because I don't really know. But otherwise it was good. It was everything that I would expect out of uh, Casey Cush. That's for sure. Ooh, these concentrates are hitting with that flower <laughs> start to feel good <clears throat> you know what we could actually skip one of these proper strains because um yeah i picked up the right one this is a strawberry candy number eight i just grabbed another jar of this so this is actually one that i already have uh, done a review on it. I actually did a review on it last week. So, if you are interested in that, go check it out. Um, so, we'll just skip past that one. And we'll go with the other strain that I got from Proper. Which is... I have forgotten already. <clears throat> oh, Limeheads. Limeheads coming from Proper. I don't have the lineage. They do not put that on the jar. Um, but it's got limonene at 1.88, mercine at 1.12. This one is a, this it's an experimental buy for me. Uh, but it's also got little little at 1.1. So, um, maybe the linalool will balance out that mercine a little bit, give me a nice little vibe. We'll see. Uh, but you got total THC. They keep making this fucking mistake. Whoever is doing their labels keeps putting the delta 9 thc as the total thc the numbers should not be the same because your your delta 9 thc is at 8.55 milligrams per serving or 8.55 percent per gram uh your thc is at 89.87 milligrams per serving or 89.87 milligrams or percent per gram uh and they have the total listed as 8.55 milligrams so someone either doesn't understand what they're doing or doesn't fucking care. Because uh, that's such a silly thing to mess up on. I just... Like, there's no excuse. You shouldn't fuck that up. Um, so anyways, let's pop this open. We'll check it out while the, uh, the banger's cooling off here. I'll give it a good... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a few minutes. Uh, but let's see. Let's check this out. Oh, it's wet as fuck. Look at that. Soupy in there. I'm going to have to mix that up. There's so much oil just sitting in the bottom. 
Looks like an egg yolk. Wow. That profile is incredible. The floral notes from the linalool come out and it, ooh. The myrcene smells really sweet in this one. It's not super like musky. It's got more of the, you know, mango sweet side of things happening with it. Of course, you do get the lemonine in there and little citral sweet citrus stuff happening. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Wow. Fucking immediately. My forehead. Still cut out early, but that's gonna fucking do it on that one. Uh, yeah, I felt that immediately in my face. Uh, like straight across here. And then it just went swoosh. So yeah, you can feel the headband lineage because that's why headband is called headband because it literally like, like er at least, I mean, every time I've had it and I've seen people describe it this way, uh, it like feels tight, makes your face and like your forehead feel tight, uh, which makes sense with that kind of a name. It's going to be a more uplifting, energetic type of strain and I, I feel it. It's definitely more uplifting and uh, certainly not sedative in any way. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's check out this fruit pie real quick. Uh, so you're going to be looking at, as far as terpenes go, beta caroflane at 2.21%, delta lemony at 1.77%, linalool at 0.74%. Uh, Neural at all two at 0.66, Alpha Humulene 0.65, Beta Mercine at 0.64, Osamine 0.2, Beta Pinene 0.2. So it's got a nice, strong terpy profile to it. Uh, you're going to be looking at somewhere around mm, 75 or so percent total THC. A little bit of CBD, point, point 0.15 or so, roughly. THCV, a little bit up 0.06%. No other list of terpenes. So there's all that. Um, let's see, I do have their website pulled up. Uh, so it was actually, when I went to Easy Mountain, it was going to be between this or the fire and ice. The fire and ice had mercy in like the third spot or something like that. So I was like, you know what? This feels safer for me. Uh, so I went with it, but it's got, it's a blend of three strains. So it is a blend. It's something that they take three different strains and make like three different rosins and combine them, I believe is what that means, or live resins and combine them. Um, but it's strawberry Gary plus guava tart plus blueberry pie. So that's nice. It also does have some like, CBG in there, um, CBC as well. It's got a nice range of cannabinoids happening. It looks nice. It smells really nice. Yeah, that smells really nice. Okay. I'll put a little drop of this in there. Cheers. This it's amazing at 475.
Still quit out like five seconds early. That's okay. <clears throat> that was good. That was really good. It tastes pretty much exactly how it smells. Uh, much like that proper I just had too. Wow, it's it's just it's fruity, floral, spiced. It's got some like earthy notes in there that kind of lean into the baked good realm of the flavor profile. And it's just, man, that's fucking good. That's good. Hell yeah. I love when I get stuff from the brands that I like and it's it's just good, you know? That makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah, this shit's gonna work. It's gonna be nice. Definitely more of a daytime strain, I think, too. Just like the uh, the other proper one. That one's gonna be more of a an uplifting sort of happy feeling. <sighs> All right, that is going to wrap up this sesh. This was felt like a fucking marathon. <laughs> I uh, I love sitting down and just trying out stuff like this. I wish we could do like cannabis tasting bars like you can do wine tasting things stuff like that doing that with cannabis would be so much fun sitting down to a rosin taste testing holy shit or even live batter or flower anything really it'd be fucking cool uh and this is basically that uh <laughs> so yeah i have a great time with this it's awesome um so for sure you'll be seeing reviews over the fruits pie i'm gonna forget that name until i'm sick of hearing it uh and then the lime heads those two for sure um the carbon fiber for sure that one's a definite i'll probably do like a proper week or something um a proper did i say proper a vibe week not proper i was looking at the proper jar uh <laughs> and then maybe a dark horse week i'll throw uh throw some dark horse reviews up or maybe just one maybe just one i kind of i kind of just want to do the kc kush the gmo cookies was kind of boring honestly it was just kind of meh um so maybe just the kc kush I'll do that and talk about that one. I can pair that with a different video, cooking video or whatever, uh, on Wednesday. So yeah, there you go. That'll be it. Thank you guys. Anyone still watching on Twitch that happens to be, I don't have the thing pulled up to see. But if you're watching, thank you for being here. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for checking out the video, the stream highlights, and watching until the end. I greatly appreciate you being here. Um, and if you did enjoy this, please do drop me a like. Always appreciate seeing those as well. And uh, yeah, it kind of just lets me know what you're into, what stuff you like, what you don't. You know, if I see videos not getting very many likes, then I'm probably going to do stuff different than how I did them in that video. Uh, so yeah, I know people get bored with Puffco. Y'all are going to have to just kind of get over that, I guess, because sometimes I'm just going to need to use it like for this. This is it's just more practical to use a Puffco uh, to sit here and try it, five different strains of stuff. Um, or I guess it was four because I didn't do the other proper, but anyways, yeah. If you have anything to add or comment on, please feel free to comment down below as always. Uh, I love hearing what you guys have to say and, uh, yeah, if you're new and watching to this point, thank you so much for checking out the video. Uh, so this is probably, you're probably seeing this on YouTube. Um, I post stream highlights on YouTube. I go live typically Tuesdays and Thursdays. If I pick up a haul, uh, I might go live on that day to do a taste testing session like this. Uh, my usual pickup actually wouldn't have been until next week, next Friday. Um, but they were doing the green light thing and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go get some stuff. So I'm pretty happy with what I picked up. I definitely have enough, uh, enough stuff for the next few weeks. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
uh i oh yeah and reviews on monday sorry i got spacey there <laughs> reviews on monday uh randomized videos on wednesday sometimes reviews um and yeah that'll be all that so i'll see you guys later <laughs> peace <laughs>